Então, quando eu falo líder do Ai. Hello! Hello! Hi! How are you? I'm fantastic. And you? How are you? I'm How are you doing? Doing good? Okay, that's really good. Mariana Tolesi, how are you? I'm fine. Very good. Where is everybody? Cadê todo mundo? Chamar no grupo aqui. Okay. Guilherme, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Good. Good. All right. Davi, how are you? Good. Elisangela, how are you? Good. Fine. Very good. Jani? Não é Jani, né? Jani é outro. Espera aí, calma. Hang on a minute. A Beatriz, correto? <laughs> Luiz and. Just the first letter, please. Primeira letra. Uh, Ellie. Uh, well, Larissa and Letizia. Luana. Tá. Só que eu vou falar. É na linha do Luana, você falou. Tipo, eu não falei assim, fala a primeira letra do seu nome. E aí eu falei o nome dela. Eu não vi. E eu não só nem entendi. Lu... Luana. Não. Lidiane. Okay. Hey guys, we had a, I guess you had a nice weekend because I had a nice weekend. Did you have a nice weekend? David, how was your weekend? Please tell us everything about your weekend. How was your weekend? Fine. Fine. Oh, you went to your grandmother's house and you played video games, right? With your web friends. Okay, very good. Mariana, please. How was your weekend? É para falar o que fez no final de semana? Yes. Eu só fiquei com a minha família, professor. In English? É, with my family. Oh, you stay with your family? Yes. What else? Okay. What else? Que mais? Só, não fiz mais nada. That's it? Sim. Guilherme, your weekend. Uh, my weekend, I stayed with my family and Play video game. Just that. What else? What else? Uh, nothing else. Nothing else. I see. And it's Angela, please. Um, spend your family. 
spend the weekend with your family. This is good. And what else? Anything else? No? Rosalie, please. Hi. Um, Tell us about your weekend. I'm working. I'm studying. Okay. Uh, stay with my family. Right. That is it. And? No. Hey. That's it? Hey. That's all you did? Barbecue? Did you have a party? Full time barbecue family? <laughs> no? no problem. Thank you very much. Ligi. Hi. Tell us a little bit about your weekend, please. Huh? In English. You stayed with your family, right? Huh? Oh, you went to the hospital. Why? Huh? Okay. How, how are you feeling today? You feeling good? Good today? Okay. Louis. Hi. Your weekend, please. How was your weekend? Um, I'm studying and work. I want and sleeping. <laughs> and what else? Nothing else. Nothing. Right. Beatrice. We work in the all time. What? All the time. E? We worked all the time. Who is we? You, family. Who worked all the time? Your family? You? Okay. Worked all the time. The whole weekend. Working. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Guys, listen. As we as we didn't have any class last Friday, so today we are supposed to have two lessons. Okay, so it's going to be lesson 15 and lesson 16. Two lessons because last Friday we had a day off, unfortunately, because of Electro Paolo. Amen. And now I'm not I'm not used to that. For me, it's gonna be Electro Paulo for the rest of my life. Yes. Vai ser Electro Paulo até o fim da vida. Que Enel tem nada de Enel. I don't get used to this name. Não consigo acostumar. Para mim vai ser Electro Paulo. Reza a vida. Tem jeito. É. All right. Let's go. One, two, three, listen and repeat. I like. I like. I love. I love. I like. I love. My English teacher. I prefer. I don't like. I don't like. Do you like onions? Do you like onions? What about fish? What about fish? <laughs> okay. I think it's easy, right? Do you have any questions? No questions because easy, right? Easy thing. Okay, so uh, consolidation time now, please. Okay? For example, I love... Well, write sentences about your personal likes and dislikes. Then write a question about one of them. For example, I love my English teacher. I like, could be my English teacher as well. I hate my English teacher as well. You could say that. Do you like your English teacher? Because I like mine. 
but it's up to you guys. I'm just kidding. Let's go. No. Let's go. No. Let's go. Okay, what do you love, people? Music. You love music. What do you love? Everybody, what do you love? What do you love? That's my question. The first one. He says, look at Family. I hmm? I Your children. That's really good. What do you like? The second one. Like, like house. House. Video game. What do you hate? Funk. 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 Then you have a question. What do you like? Do you like? Okay, that's really simple. Let's move on to the text. Excuse me. Again, excuse me. Excuse me. We'd like to order now, please. Okay. What do you recommend from today's menu? There's a French audience. Here. Is no, I don't like onions. No, or a salad? Okay, a mixed salad. Well, I'll go for the soup. I really love onion soup. Okay, one mixed salad and one French onion soup. What about the main course? I can recommend the steak. I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian. What about fish? There's some fresh tuna. No, I don't really like fish. How about pasta? Oh, yes, the gnocchi are very good. Yes, the gnocchi are very good. Okay, gnocchi, but no sauce. Okay, no sauce. Just olive oil, please. Just olive oil, please. 
Okay, one yaki with oil. And for you? Okay, one, 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 one. Oh, fish for me. Oh, oh, fish for me. I love tuna. I love tuna. Okay. Okay. And the drink? And the drink. A fresh fruit juice for me. A fresh fruit juice for me. The fruit here is fantastic. The fruit here is fantastic. And for me too. And for me too. I love fruit. I love fruits. We have lemon, tangerine, passion fruit. We have lemon, tangerine, passion fruit. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Yes, for me too. Yes, for me too. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Okay, two fresh passion fruit juices. Okay, people, begin. Online, begin with the text. Let's go. É para ler, né, gente? With your classmates, com coleguinha. Dessa vez tem três, não é? É para ler só dois mesmo ou três? Vai de dois, vocês tem pouca gente. Tá bom. É, o Guilherme tá do meu lado. Ok. Uh, excuse me, we'd like to order now, please. Okay. What do you recommend from today's menu? There's French onion. No, I don't like onions. Já foi? There's French onion soup. No, I don't like onions. Or a salad. Okay, a mixed salad. Well, I go... I'm sorry. Well... I'll go for the soap. I really love onion soap. Okay, one mixed salad and one French onion soup. What about the main course? course? I can recommend a stick. I don't eat meat. I am vegetarian. No, I don't really like fish. How about pasta? Yes, the gnocchi are very good. Okay, gnocchi. But no sauce, just olive oil, please. Okay, one gnocchi with oil and for you. Oh, fish for me. I love tuna. Okay, and to drink? A fresh fruit juice for me. The fruit hair is fantastic. And for me too, I love fruit. We have lemon and passion fruit. Passion fruit, yes, for me too. It's my favorite. Okay, two fresh passion fruit juice juices.
Yeah. Finished? I love tuna. Okay. No, I don't know. Okay. Tá, quem tá aqui do meu lado é a Roseli. Ah, você vai os dois Fs e eu vou o B, é isso? Uhum. -huh. Tá. É, excuse me, we'd like to order now. Tá cortando o áudio do Guilherme. Hum, deve ser minha conexão. Não estou ouvindo. Não estão me ouvindo? Nada. Não, tá bem robótico, não tá dando para entender nada. É. Eu não sei, então. Ah, agora tá faz. bem. Vai lá, vamos começar. Como que tá aí assim mesmo? Vai lá, começa de novo. Ah, tá indo agora? Tá, lá, É, não, não tô conseguindo ouvir nada ali. Ai, ai. Acho melhor me pular, então. Pra você ir com outro. Vou ligar e desligar meu som pra ver. Vamos lá, Gui. Começa de novo, por favor, para ver se vai. Ok. Um, excuse me. We'd like to order now, please. Ok. What do you recommend from today's menu? B, uh, uh, there's French onion soup. No, I don't like onions. Or a salad. Okay, a mixed salad. Well, I'll go for the soup. I really love onion soup. Okay, one mixed salad and one fresh onion soup. What about the main course? I can recommend the steak. What about fish? There's some fresh tuna. No, I don't really like fish. How about pasta? Yes, the gnocchi are very good. Okay, one gnocchi with oil and for you. Oh, fish for me. I love tuna. Okay, and to drink? We have lemon, tangerine, passion fruit. Passion fruit. Yes, for me too. It's my favorite. Okay, to fresh on passion fruit juice. Agora eu vou com a Mariana, né? É. Excuse me. We'd like to order now, please. Ok. 
What do you recommend from today's menu? There is French onion soup. No, I don't like onions. Or a salad. Okay, a mixed salad. Well, we'll go for the soup. I really love your onion soup. Okay, one mixed salad and one French onion soup. What about the main course? I can recommend the steak. I don't eat meat. I'm vegetarian. What about fish? There is some fresh tuna. No, I don't really like fish. How about pasta? Yes, the gnocchi are very good. Okay, gnocchi, but, but no sauce. Uh, just all, olive oil, please. Okay, one gnocchi with oil. And for you? Oh, fish for me. I love tuna. Okay, and to drink? Uh, fresh fruit juice for me. The fruit in here is fantastic. And for me too, I love fruit. We have lemon, tangerine, passion fruit. Passion fruit. Yes, for me too. It's my favorite. Okay, two fresh passion fruit juices. Finished? Okay, Roseli, please read the whole text for me. Entendi. <laughs> read the whole text, test in table. Excuse me, we'd like to order now, please. Okay, what do you recommend from today's menu? There's French onion soup. No, I don't like onions or salad. Okay, a mixed mix salad. Mix. mix salad. Mix salad. Well, you go for the soup. I really love your onion soup. Okay, one mixed salad and one French onion soup. What about the main course? I can recommend the steak. I don't eat meat. I am a vegetarian. Uh, what about fish? There's some fresh tuna. No, I don't really like fish. About, how about pasta? Yes, the gnocchi are very good. Okay, gnocchi, but no sauce. Just olive oil, please. Okay, one uh, not with oil. Uh, and for you. Oh, fish for me. I love tuna. Okay. And to drink? A fresh fruit juice for me. 
the fruit in here is fantastic. And for me too, I love fruit. We have lemon, tangerine, passion fruit. Passion fruit. Yes, for me too. It's my favorite. Okay, two fresh on passion fruit juice. Hey, Luis, please. Okay, what do you recommend from today and look? Their French onion soup. No, I don't like onions or salad. Okay, a meat salad. Well, I go for the soup. I really love one soup. Okay, one meat salad and one French onion soup. What about the my mentors? I can recommend to pay. I don't I don't eat meat. I am vegetarian. What about fish? There are some fresh food. No, I don't really like fish. How about that? Yes, the gnocchi are very good. Okay, gnocchi for yourselves. Just olive olive oil, please. Okay. One yogi which one? What you want? And for you? Oh, fish for me. I love tuna. Okay. And to drink a fresh fruit juice for me. The fruit, the fruit here is fantastic. And for me too. I love fruit. I have lemon tangerine patient fruit. Patient fruit? Passion fruit? Passion fruit. Passion. Fruit. Pa passion. 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 Fruit. Passion. Yes, for me too, it may be baby. Okay, two fresh patient fruits, two, two. Okay, Mariana, please. Very good, thank you. Excuse me, we'd like to order now, please. Okay, what do you recommend from today's menu? There's French onion soup. No, I don't like onions or a salad. Okay, a mixed salad. Well, I go for the soup. I really love onion soup. Okay, on mixed salad and on French onion soup. What about the main course? I can recommend the steak. I don't eat meat, meat, meat. I am a vegetarian. What about fish? There is some fresh tuna. No, I don't really like fish. How about pasta? Yes, the gnocchi are very good. Okay, gnocchi, but no sauce. Just olive oil, please. Okay, one gnocchi with oil. And for you? Oh, fish for me. I love tuna. Okay. And to, to drink? A fresh fruit juice for me. The fruit here is fantastic. And for me too. I love fruit. We have lemon, tangerine, pa passion fruit. Passion fruit. Yes, for me too. It's my favorite. Okay, two fresh passion fruit juices. Okay, Patrice. And the night too. Are they no place? Okay. What do you recommend? Recommend. 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 Yes. From today, men. There, friends, onion. So, onion soup. Onion soup. No, I don't like onions. Or a salad. Okay, I'm messing with salad. Hell, I go from Jay. So, he had it here. Love onion soup. Okay, onion messy. Salads on and on fresh on so white boat boat pay money post and can have fake steak 
and don't eat meat. Eat meat. Eat meat. I am ready. Why both feet? Then some fresh food. No, I don't have it. Like this. One goes fast. Yeah. Say nothing while very good. Okay, nothing good. Not fast. You think about our place. Okay, only now we walk and point. Oh, this part and the food. Okay, going to the place food, went for it. And then beauty had its contact. Contact. Going for me to a little food. Had rather than a little fat of food. Fat of food. Yes, from two kids meat covered. It's my favorite. My favorite. My favorite. Okay, two points, fat of food. Okay, Guilherme. Uh, excuse me, we'd like to order now, please. Okay, what do you recommend from today's menu? There's French onion soup. No, I don't like onions. Or salad? Oh, yeah, mixed salad. Well, I'll go for the soup. I really love onion soup. Okay, one mixed salad and one French onion soup. What about the main course? I can recommend steak. Um, I don't eat meat. I don't eat meat. I fish. No, I don't really like fish. Oh, I think it's very good. I can't eat the most. So, really. Oh, you want to eat all of you? Oh, fish. Seu áudio está meio falhando, Gui. Passion fruit. Yes, for me too. It's my favorite. Está muito baixo, Gui. O áudio está muito baixo. Olha lá. Okay. People, I wanted to chat. If you've got questions, have a look at the text and bring me questions. Maracujá. Passion fruit. Uh, sure, yes. More questions. The main course. The main course. The main course. The main course. For example, you go to a restaurant and you ask, what's the main course today? Well, today it's linguiça. No. The main course at the restaurant. No, you go to a restaurant there and then you will ask, waiter, please, what's the main course today? The main course today is feijoada. Que você ah, tem hoje. Que você recomenda hoje? Não. Last chance. Você... You go to a restaurant and you ask the waiter. Waiter, please, what is the main course today? And then he replied. O prato de hoje? Yes. Principal. Ah, principal.
Nessa mesma coluna, professor, é, o último F2, é, essa última palavra, sals? Sauce. Molho, sauce. I love red sauce. I love tomato sauce. Ok? Next. Order. 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 You order. For example, you go to a restaurant and then the waiter takes your order. For example, what would you like to order? Well, I would like to order a Coke, a steak, a orange juice. Não traduz, não traduz literal. Order. O que seria o order, então? Uma lista. Hã? Uma lista. Não, uma lista, um garçom, uma lista. Um restaurante. Seria. Tipo, restaurant. Restaurant. What would you like to order? Ah, I'd like to order a Coke. Orange juice, an orange juice, and a steak for me. Pedido. Rosalie? Isso! Pizza. Huh? Pizza. Rosalie, what is it? Pedido. 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 Com waiter, I'd like to order a Coke, an orange juice, a steak. That's it. Gostaríamos de pedir agora, é isso? Isso. For me, no questions. No questions? No More questions? That's it? Mariana, questions? No? Any more questions? Finished? Beatriz? Ok. Consolidation with your ideas, but you can use the text. Or use a text from reference. Teacher. Yes? É. Steak é carne ou é bife? Ou pode ser qualquer um dos dois? Bife. Melhor. Tá. Assado, baked, bucket, né? Baked.
Okay, L finished? No? Oh, we have time, two minutes. Two minutes. Let's go. Okay, what about the main course? I can recommend the uh, steak. I don't eat meat. meat. What about fish? fish. There's some fresh tuna. Você está comendo do texto, né? No, I don't really like. <laughs> well, the uh, okay. But it's asking like like this, complete the conversation with your ideas. But it's okay, no problem. So there's some fresh tuna, right? According to the text. How about 
Pasta. I, I, I'm sure you, I'm sure you wrote this. Pasta. Okay. It's. I guess you follow to the text, right? Seguiu o texto, né? Okay, no problem if you follow the text. Não era para seguir o texto, mas tudo bem. Teacher. With your ideas, yes? Eu até tentei, mas a, a, eu consegui a primeira só com a, da minha no cabeça. No problem, follow the text. No problem, segue o texto. Uh, people, let's skip the lesson, right? Vamos para 16, okay? Lesson 16, please. Let's go. One, two, three. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'll call the manager. I'll change it. Shall I change it? I don't understand. Can you repeat it? Is there a problem? Okay. People, what's the difference between I'm sorry and I apologize? Who can tell me the difference? Yes, but there's a difference between them, right? I'm sorry and I apologize. Who can tell me the difference between them? What you feel is in these days? I'm sorry, you are expressing a feeling. It's like sinto muito. I'm sorry. É. É um sentimento. Você pode usar como desculpa, sim. Sorry. Tipo, sinto muito. No sentido de desculpas. É, mas o apo I apologize já dá o um sentido mais de pedir desculpas. Mais formal, peço desculpas. I apologize. Or you could even say my apologies. My apologies. But it's very formal. Mais formal. Yes. For example, like you did something very bad to me. My apologies. It's very, very formal. Não vejo assim. Tudo depende da sua entonação. É, peço desculpa e ponto. É. Seria assim mais palavras. É. Exato. Seria o que aconteceu isso isso. Aham. Desculpa. É. Okay, is there a problem? Remember that we have seen this verb. There is, there are, is there. It's a verb, right? Is there a problem? Ah, um problema? Remember that we have seen this? Okay, let's move on to the consolidation. It's very easy. I'm going to give you like one minute. Go. One minute. One minute. But how do you see this? Come on. It's very simple. Yes. 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 It's a camera What is this? Eu 
Fantastic. To the text. Now, this room is too hot. Can you open the window, please? I'm sorry, the windows don't open. Don't open. But I must have some fresh air. I can't sleep with air conditioning. Well, the air conditioning is very good. Well, no, I hate air conditioning. No, I hate air conditioning. I'm sorry, all our rooms have air conditioning. I'm sorry, our rooms have air conditioning. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Well, there are some rooms with terraces. Well, there are some rooms with Okay, I'll change my room then. Okay, I'll change my room then. But those are superior rooms, they are more expensive. This is ridiculous. I want to speak to the manager. Okay, I'll call her. Okay, two. Excuse me. Yes, is there a problem? Yes, there is. This mistake is wrong. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Can you repeat it? Can you repeat it? Raw, undercooked. Raw, undercooked. Look, it's red. Look, it's red. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I asked for a medium rare steak, not red and not raw or red. Again, I asked for a medium rare steak, not red, not raw or red. I'm sorry, shall I take it away? I'm sorry, shall I take it away? I'm sorry, shall I take it away? Yes, please, and bring me a salad. Yes, please. A salad. a salad. You don't want another steak. A salad. You don't want steak. No, just a salad, and I don't have much time. No, no. no. Yes, I understand. Five minutes. Yes, I understand. Five minutes. Make it two. Make it two. Good. 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 As I would say, como diria. No perfeito, so, como diria no inglês, britânico, arrebenta. <laughs> you guys, too. Roseli. Uh, Roseli. Uh, <laughs> Roseli. Oi, pode ir. This room's too hot. Can you open the window, please? I'm sorry, the window don't open. Don't open, but I must have some fresh air. I can't sleep with air conditioning. Well, the air conditioning is very good. 
No, I hate air conditioning. I'm sorry. Our, our homes, rooms have air conditioning. I don't believe it. Well, there are some rooms with terraces. Okay, I change my room then. But those are superior rooms. They are more expensive. This is ridiculous. I want to speak to the manager. Okay, I will call, uh, call her. Excuse me? Yes, is there a problem? Yes, there is. This is Taker's how. I'm sorry, don't, I don't understand. Can you repeat? How on their coat? Look, it's red. I'm sorry. I asked for a medium hair steak, not hair, and not how or head. I'm sorry. Shall I take it away? Yes, please, and bring me a salad. A salad? You don't want another steak? No, just a salad. And I don't have much time. Yes, I understand. Five minutes. Make it two. O Gui sumiu, tá aí, Gui? Oi, tô sim. Vamos lá. Vocês estão me ouvindo bem? Agora sim. This room's too hot. Can you open the window, please? I'm sorry, the windows don't open. Don't open? But it must have some fresh air. I can't sleep with air conditioning. Well, the air conditioning is very good. No, I had air conditioning. I'm sorry, all our rooms have air conditioning. I don't believe it. Well, there are some rooms with terraces. Okay, I, I will change my room then. But those are superior rooms. They're, they are more expensive. This is ridiculous. I want to speak to the manager. Okay, I'll call here. Excuse me. Yes, is there a problem? Yes, there is. This steak is wrong. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Can you repeat it? Wrong. Under cold kids. Look, it's red. I'm sorry. Uh, I asked for a medium race steak. Very hurry steak. Not hurry. And not round or red. I'm sorry, shall I take it away? Yes, please. And bring me a salad. A salad? I don't want, you don't want another stick? No, just a salad. And I don't have much time. Yes, I understand. Five minutes. Make it two. Uh, vamos lá, Mariana. Uh, this room's too hot. Can you open the window, please? I'm sorry, the windows don't open. Don't open? But I must have some fresh air. I can't sleep with air conditioning. Well, the air conditioning is very good. No, I hate air conditioning. I'm sorry, our homes have air conditioning. Uh, I don't believe it. 
Well, there are some homes with terraces. Okay, I'll change my room then. But those are super homes. Uh, they, they are more expensive. This is ridiculous. I want to speak to the manager. Okay, I call her. Excuse me? Yes, is there a problem? Yes, there is. This is take is wrong. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Can you repeat it? Raw, undercook it. Look, it's red. I'm sorry. I asked it for a medium hair stick, not hair, and not round or red. I'm sorry. Shall I take it right away, Ali? Yes, please, and bring me a salad. A salad? You don't want another steak? No, just a salad, and, and I don't, don't have much time. Yes, I understand. Five minutes. Make it two.
Okay, people, uh, finished? Let's go. I want to know if you have questions. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's have a look together. This room is too hot. Can you open the window, please? Very easy. I'm sorry, the windows don't open. But I must have some fresh air. Remember, must. What is must? It's something like obligation. I must have some fresh air. Must. Dever. Dever. Right? Right. Uh, bring me questions. Me trago perguntas. Vamos lá. Okay. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Uh, <laughs> online, pode trazer questions, tá? O pessoal tá falando aqui, mas vocês a qualquer momento, tá? Perguntem. Coisas do texto. Uh huh. People, no questions. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, no second text, uh, okay. first, second, third F. Uh, under cooked. Under cooked. It's like raw. Kick a raw. Cru. Cru. Rare. Mal passado. Under cooked seria um sinônimo de mal passado, mal cozido, mal feito. Ah. Under cooked. Cooked é cozido, feito, né? Cooked, cozinhado, né? Se a gente fosse traduzir literalmente, mas não existe, né? Undercooked, tipo, mal cozido, entendeu? Ele é meio que sinônimo de, de, de rare. Ok? É ah. teacher, Do segundo? Do I asked for a medium rare steak, not rare, not raw, or rare. Isso. Eu pedi por um ao, do ponto ao mal passado. Não mal passado. Nem cru, nem vermelho. Ok? Eu, eu sou louco pelo Dylan. Crazy. I'm crazy for Bob Dylan. He's one of the best. He is the best, I would say. 
I do, but yes, it's good. I don't know. I don't really know much about jazz, but I like it. Mas muito, sim, mas eu gosto. Um, right? Questions? If you don't have any questions, please, consolidation time.
I like them too. People finished? Let's check it out. Let's go, guys. Did you finish? Let's check it out. I can't connect my computer. I'll find a technician. Yeah. I can't find a museum. Here's a map. I don't understand this. I can translate it for you. This room is too small. I'm sorry, it's your standard size. It's your standard size. Ó, oh, essa e a outra pode tem duas aqui que pode caber, tá? Sorry, I'll change it. Well, these shoes are too small. Okay, uh, this soup is cold. Um, oh, yes, I can change it. Oh, sorry, I'll change it. As a, as a day. Okay. I, no, realmente, é eu que li errado. Então, uh, these shoes are too small. I can change them. Aí sim. It's our standard size at the room. Tá? Okay. All right, people, have you got questions? People, pode fechar o livro. People, tem uma tem uma palavra que a gente viu. Só para é uma coisa muito simples, a gente vai estar sempre vendo, né? Eu vou escrever aqui. É o chó. Estão vendo essa palavra aqui? O pessoal também está vendo ali o show. Negativa dele. Shant. Ele é um verbo modal. Que a gente viu aqui. Que tem ver ali o show, I do, show, I. No inglês a gente aprendeu o must, correto? Para que serve o must? O must é obrigação, lembra? Deve. E o should? O should é o deveria. É um conselho. A gente usa em inglês no um sentido de conselho. Por exemplo, Hey, you should, drink, you should drink more water. Deveria beber mais água. Hey, you must stop smoking. Obrigação. O show, ele vai estar tá entre os dois. Mas é, um, é uma sugestão. Ele já funciona como sugestão. Se você dá uma sugestão, você espera uma resposta. Então, ele não é um conselho. Não é o um should. Não é uma obrigação. Deve, por must. É um conceito, só que você só usa ele, geralmente, se você pegar gramaticamente, gramaticalmente é no I e no we. Nós é eu e nós. Então, por exemplo, como é que funciona? Uh, 
hey, this soup is very cold. Should I change it? Não, é um conselho. Como se estivesse pedindo um conselho. Então, tipo, troco? Não. Must I change it? Muito pesado. Obrigação? Não. Shall I change it? Shall I change it? Tipo, você espera que, responda, que a pessoa responda que, tipo, como se a pessoa estivesse dando uma sugestão. Então, sugiro que trocamos isso? Pode ser? Diferente do do you think, que você acha, mas é meio que o que você acha, entendeu? A pessoa está pedindo uma sugestão. Então, por exemplo, vamos supor que eu tenho a ideia de tomar um sorvete agora. Hey, shall we have an ice cream now? Poderia perguntar diferente? Poderia. Ah, yeah, sure. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of the idea of having an ice cream? Muita coisa. Shall we have an ice cream? Fantastic. Hey, shall I go there? Tipo, você acha que é uma boa sugestão? Se eu for lá. Shall we have a coffee? E aí, você acha que é legal a gente tomar um café? Entende? Então ele funciona como sugestão. Diferentemente do should, diferentemente do must, tem outro significado. Estão entendendo? A gente vai ver muito isso no texto, tá? Embora isso seja uma coisa assim que a gente vê mais presente, acredito eu, no inglês britânico. Mas o inglês americano eles também usa. Acho que talvez um pouco menos, mas eles usam. É... E vocês se lembram como usar o will? Future, will, remember? Right? Legit. Okay, please give me an example of how to use will in a sentence. Hmm? Okay, so Okay, let's uh, one more. <laughs> Não, prova. Você vai cortar, né? Não, é que tem, tem, um, tem um cara aqui é, dormindo aqui na frente. Esse cara, ele faz umas coisas erradas, entendeu? Aí a Thalita foi, foi avisar as autoridades. Esse cara até queria ficar sediando as pessoas e tudo, entendeu? Então, aí a Thalita entrou contando. Só que tá gravando a aula, então... <risos> Mas tudo bem, só um detalhe. Right. Então, só pra gente finalizar o conteúdo... Tem uma coisinha legal também que eu queria já passar para vocês, que são respostas curtas. Você é bom. Primeiro a gente tem que aprender o difícil, para depois ir para o fácil. Em inglês, a gente sempre vai pegar, por exemplo, o verbo auxiliar, correto? Sempre precisa, sempre precisa. Por exemplo, would, can, could, must. Que a gente geralmente está praticando aqui, resposta longa. Can I talk to you? Yes, you can talk to me. But it doesn't have to be like this all the time. Vocês podem responder assim, tipo, uh, Hey, can I talk to you? Yes, you can. No, you can't, sorry. Pronome mais auxiliar. Sempre. Tem sempre que prestar atenção em qual auxiliar está sendo usado na pergunta. Que ele você vai usar para responder. Hey, would you come to the party with me? Oh, yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. 
Uh, could you please do me a favor? Yes, I could. No, I couldn't. E como do? Que a gente não usa na resposta. Por exemplo, hi. Do you like pancakes? Yes. I. I do. Traz auxiliar. Nesse caso, traz auxiliar e responde só com auxiliar. Yes, I do. Mas se eu quiser falar I like, tá certo? Yes, I like. E se eu quiser falar I like pancakes, tá certo? That's right. Do you like pancakes? Yes, I love pancakes. Correct. But, tá certo se eu responder assim, ó. Well, I do like pancakes. Is it correct? Quem acha que tá correto, levanta a mão. Quem acha que tá errado, levanta a mão. <laughs> Hã? Você acha que tá errado? Não, o que você acha? Você acha que está errado? Errado. Quem mais? Certo ou errado? 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 Online, está errado? Se eu falar, I do like pancakes. Está errado ou está certo? Errado? Pois é, gente. Está certo. Ah. Gramaticalmente está certo. Mas existe uma situação para você usar. Você não vai falar assim o tempo todo, porque senão você vai ser o cara mais rude do mundo. Você só coloca o auxiliar na afirmativa quando você quer enfatizar. Vou dar um exemplo. Teacher, do you like pancakes? Yes, I, I do. Resposta curta. Come on, teacher. Do you really like pancakes? Come on, I told you. I like pancakes. Teacher, I don't believe you. I think you don't like pancakes. Do you really like pancakes? Okay, I've told you this many times. Listen, it's the last time I say this to you. I do like pancakes. So, when you want to emphasize something. Yes. When you want to emphasize something, you can add do. And it's perfect, perfectly right. But you wouldn't talk like this all the time. For example, Peter, hi, do you like chocolate? I do like chocolate. Do you like to drink Coke? I do like to drink Coke. So then you're going to be like rude. You're going to sound rude if you talk like this all the time. Right? So you don't talk like this all the time. But it's correct if you want to. Tá certo gramaticalmente. Mas você não falaria assim. Sim. E no passado? Por exemplo, yesterday I went to the cinema. Went passado do verbo go. Eu poderia falar, yesterday I did go to the cinema. Tá certo ou tá errado? Tá certo. Da mesma, uma mesma, é, é o mesmo processo. Emphasize. Mas aí o verbo fica no presente, porque o auxiliar já está no passado. I went to the cinema yesterday. Good. Hey, I did go to the cinema yesterday. Correct. Okay. Enfatizar. Ninguém aqui, por exemplo, nunca apanhou por sílaba? Eu já falei pra... Mas não é um assunto legal de você entrar, né? É. É, bem, aqui faz tempo, né? Você acha que não faz tanto tempo assim mesmo. Eu faz, faz bastante tempo, mas já apanhei por sílaba. Não é muito legal. Não, 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 não. Para! Eu You're lucky. You're lucky. É mesmo, por sílaba. Você não faz isso de um Não tem que eu Entenderam? E tem também, gente, ó, uma coisa legal que são question tags. O que são question tags? É igual em português. Por exemplo, a gente faz uma afirmativa, a gente termina com uma pergunta na negativa. E vice-versa. Bison birds, for example. Hey, 
I think you like to drink cold, don't you? Você gosta de tomar Coca-Cola? Não gosta? It's a question type. And it's, it's always the opposite. If you say something like affirmative, the question tag is negative. But if you say something like negative, the question tag is positive. For example, you don't like to drink coke, do you? Hey, you shouldn't do that to your mother, should you? Hey, you should drink more water, shouldn't you? Shouldn't you? It's a question tag. In English, it's very used. Muito usado em inglês. Mas é sempre essa história. Se é uma afirmativa, question tag na negativa. Por exemplo, hey, you are my friend. Aren't you? Because of it's verb to be, right? You are my friend. Aren't you? Hey, she is your friend, isn't she? She is not your friend. Is she? That's positive. And it's something like, I believe that it's really interesting. And we're going to get like into it with time. And OK, we still have time for the last question. Have you got questions? Questions? No questions? No question. Online, questions? No questions? No. You sure? No third questions? No questions. No third questions. OK, so. Bem devagarinho. This is. You live here inside of my heart. Oh. Have, a, have a nice end of the day. <laughs> have a nice evening and have a good night. And I hope to see you here tomorrow. Kisses, we love you so much. Bye. <laughs> All right. Kisses, to see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for the class. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.